Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully update our title, right? Right now we don't need this, I close it and also I close it. So now I want to do, I want to work for active link. So if you want to add that active link, that is our font in um, header part, right? Now first of all, we have to go to our header. Right now I better close everything, okay? I close everything and then that is our header. Header means that is our font in body and that is our header. So into this header, first of all, you have to understand one thing. It's like uh, right now, by default, our home is active, right? If you go to our about page, into this about page, our home will be always as active. Uh, if you go, so I have, uh, I use that as a, a home. And you can see that have one of the class as an active class. Okay, so that is actually our active class. So I want to do, I want to make it as a dynamic. I show you how to do this work for doing this in our header. Better I want to do, I want to take a, one of the PHP blog. I simply take one of the PHP blog and I want to add this PHP blog. Okay, I want to add this PHP. So now I want to take one of the variable as a route. Okay, what of the name actually choose? Now I name it as a one of the variable as a route. And route, I want to don't take our route. So I want to simply use that as a route. And with this route, I want to get that our current, okay, current route. So that will be the current. So current, I want to do, I want to get that our route name. Okay, so then that will be as a gate. And sorry, then that will be as a gate and then name name okay so it means what so from to the route if you go to our route so from that is actually our all that route so from to the route i want to do i want to get i want to get our current gate name current gate name means that is our current name okay that means the name route i want to do and to get so here now everything will be more clear so i simply take that our current route name and i just name it with uh, take it with the variable as a route so now first of all i want to apply it in our um, here okay that means in our about page so into this about page right now our current current route is which one current route is home about right so i want to do i want to add some of the condition in here Okay, so I want to add on the condition because we have to apply our class as an active class, right? So now if you want to do this work, so that is our class. Uh, I want to do, that is our home. So that is li, right? Into this li area, I want to put another class. So that will be as a class. And into this class area, I want to put that blade syntax. So I want to simply put one of the very small condition. Like I have already get that our route name. I get that our route name. I take it with our variable as a route, right? So now with this route, with this route, when that will be equal, equal. Okay, what, what our current get route, when that will be the equal, equal, our current route. So the current route here, I'm using as a home about, right? So now when that will be as a home about, when that will be as a home about, then, okay? I make it as a then, then that will be display our class name. That means in our class name will be as a active class. Okay. And else, else it will be as a empty. I hope friend it's very much clear to you. So here I have already get our current route. So when I just put on the condition current route, when that will be as equal equal as a about home because in for the about i have already created our route name as a home about so when that will be as a home about then our class name a like class you can see there is a like class as a active for the reasons in our home page that is active so now i want to do to access it so that when when that will be as a home about then with the question mark that is means that then then that will be as an active class and else our class will be as empty so now let's check this out. If you now click as a save all. Now if you go to our home, that means about. Now into, I have already into the about page. Now if you refresh it, now that should be also as active. Yes, you can see now that is active. Perfect. I hope friend you get that idea. How much easily we can solve this issue. Now our about page is active. And now I also want to do and to apply the same things for our portfolio, blog and the contact. Okay. So here our condition will be just like that same. Better I copy it. Okay. I copy the total things. And now that is our service. Service as I told you that will be your task. I want to apply it in our portfolio. So for, for the portfolio better I remove it. And here I paste it. So now our current route when that will be as a home portfolio. Okay, that is a route, and that is our current route when that will be as a poor home portfolio. Then that will be as active. 
class okay then that will be the active class other than else it will be the empty great and also I want to do the same thing say so copy it sorry I copy the total class and I want to apply it in here now that is our blog okay that will be our blog or for the blog our current out as a home blog so I make it as a home blog then that will be the active else it will be the empty I copy it again and then that will be for our contact in our li i paste it so when that will be the contact me when that will be the contact me then i want to make it as an active class will be activated else it will be the empty great so now that should be updated for our all page now click the save all and now if you go now i want to go to our portfolio page yes you can see our portfolio is active when you go to our blog page our blog page is active when you go to that our contact page our contact page is active but for the home here I have used that URL right so I have used that URL so better I want to want to change it here also I want to create another new route okay better I copy it first of all I want to create another new route so the same procedure now I want to actually apply a copy it now that will be on the route I just named that route as a home okay so then that will be as a one of the home route our route name should be as a home for the home page now if you go to our web into this web that is our font in right I want to do here right now we don't need this I simply minimize it okay I minimize it and in our demo controller you can do this work rather than admin controller home slider about controller right so I want to do you know our where exactly i want to do this work <laughs> again our demo controller okay into this demo controller i want to create another new route better i copy it and then i paste it perfect so now our url will be as a slash that means that is our home and into this home i want to create another new one as a home main okay home main and our name i name it i simply name that our route name will be as a home so i make it as a only home our route name will be home our url will be as a home directory and then here i in our demo controller now to create another method as a main that is a home main so i simply copy it now if you go to our demo controller here i have already created some of the page before you can see that same process actually so now that will be as a public and then function and our main method name as a main home now that will be here i will simply want to don't return some of the page okay simple work so return on the view page view page will be which one and that will be as a font in index right so then that will be easy so i make it as a font in index that means in our font in area our index page will be loaded perfect perfect now that is perfect so now we can actually change it in our header right now i want to update the same class i copy it and now in our li i paste it okay so now when that will be our current one will be route will be as a home Right now I'm using that home, then that will be as a active rather than that will be as a empty. Great. So that's all. Now let's check this out together. Save all. Now if you go, I refresh it. Now that should be not display. Yes, you can see now that is gone. Perfect. Now if you go to a portfolio page, portfolio page is active. If you go to that about page, about page is now active. And if you now go to our home page, Yes, you can see our home page is now successfully loaded. Our active link is totally dynamic. So friend here, we successfully done this job. I hope you like it very much. So now every part you can actually make it as a dynamic. I have already shared all the simple procedure how to create any website how we can make dynamic any website with using that Laravel latest version as a Laravel 9. Okay. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.